So you already probably figured out that we're at Diesel Muscle and it is, what time is it? It's like 12.20 a.m. Anyway, there's a couple people here tonight and uh, I think I'm gonna do back. I think I'm feeling like it's a back night tonight. As, as you may know, I had um, had a week off, I was sick. And uh, last night I came in and did legs, I had a really sick leg session. And um, we're gonna do some really cool things with back tonight. But um, the success tip that I wanna emphasize tonight is put a very high value on your time. Time value is worth as much as any other kind of value you can place on your business, on you know everything that you're doing to become successful. Time value is really important. You know, um, the price you put on your time will determine how much you value yourself as well. Don't let people come into your life and waste your time. You know, that's something I've learned as I've gone on to, you know, develop new businesses. I'm currently the owner of four businesses and the busier I got and the more pressure I was under to get things done, I realized that I could not allow people to come in and waste my time on any level. I've got to get things done. From the moment I wake up to the moment I go to bed, I have to be on. And when you allow people to waste your time, then it works against your success. But anyway, I'm going to talk a little bit more about this at the end of this video. So uh, let's go ahead and hit some back, baby. Actually a beautiful night tonight. And uh, the one thing I love about Arizona is that hear birds chirping all hours of the night as well. Pretty cool. The beauty of living in the desert. Thank you. 
So I'd say that was a pretty sick back session. So I started my back session tonight with rack pulls and I put bands on the bar. I love using bands because it just gives a little more resistance to the movement and it just hits the striation of the muscles differently. And I didn't do a pyramid set. I just went up to two plates on each side and then I went over to the pit and did the bent over row. I really like the pit. It's very versatile. I'll do squats in the pit. I'll do deadlifts, straight legged deadlifts in the pit. And I'll do the bent over row in the pit. Basically, you just grab the bar, you bend over and you just go for it. And um, one thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you are aligned and you're stable before you bend over with that bar, especially because it's attached to a device and you don't want to hurt your back. Always protect your low back, okay? You saw that I had the belt on with that exercise. And basically, what I do is I go down, I grab the bar, and I come up and I make sure that I'm straight and I'm tight, okay? And then what I do is I only bend over at the hips, not at the back, but at the hips. And it's actually my legs that are stabilizing my body and creating the center of gravity as I bend over and I pull the bar there's absolutely no tension on my low back. It's just straight and it's tight and it's stabilized. And then I, um, let's see what I do. I went up to two plates on each side on that way. And so um, four plates total. And then I went over to do the cable pulls for the lats. And I started with 80, went up to 110 and I increased by 10. And as you notice, I put the, um, the bull grip on the, on the rope just gives me a better grip so that I can really focus on the lats and when I'm pulling down you know again you're stabilizing at the hips and the glutes and the thighs you're not using your low back to stabilize yourself with these movements and then um, I went on to do some core I got on that bolsa ball thing I don't know what you call it and I held on to the handles and what you'll notice is when I when I come up and then when I come down I really get a stretch in the core, in the rectus abdominis, and then I come in and I do a crunch. You wanna get as much range of motion on the muscle as you can, maintaining tension on that muscle, because that's where you get uh, better growth and better development. And then I went on to do the, uh, the crunch on the bench, and I actually used a 10 pound plate with that one. And what you wanna do is when you're laying flat and you're coming up, you're actually chin to the ceiling. You're not really coming in like this, you're chin to the ceiling and you'll feel the tightness on the rectus abdominis when you come up and then you come back down and then you do it again. And so I did like four sets of 12 on the bolsa ball crunch and I did four sets of 15 on the bench crunch. So that was enough tonight. Um, that was a really good back session. I still feel really fresh, even though I work pretty hard um, in the gym tonight. But anyway, earlier we were talking about time wasters and I can't emphasize this enough. The more successful you get, the more you're working toward your goals, the more serious you get about the things that you're working for in your life, the less time you're gonna have to waste. And the more you will realize that there are things, circumstances, and people that are completely wasting your time. This is something I realized. You know, people try and waste your time. I don't let people waste my time. You know, putting a value on your time, you know, my time is worth minimum $1,000 an hour. So if somebody's going to take up my time and they're going to, you know, interact with me on any level, it's gonna be a very important interaction. There's very, very few people that are entitled to my unpaid time very, very few people. The more successful you get in the things you're doing and the closer you get to reaching your goals, the more you will realize this. Med school was a big test for me, you know? I mean, I've never been one to let people waste my time anyway, but you do realize that there are little things or certain people in your life that are wasting your time. My time in medical school was a perfect example of this. I was taking 32 credit hours a term. That wasn't just for the first two years, that was for the entire four years. And on top of that, the last two years I was doing clinical time. So I didn't have time to allow for time wasters. I didn't have time for people to waste my time. I didn't have time for things to waste my time. And 
it's not just people, but it's things too. I mean, like you have to ask yourself, how much time are you wasting on social media? How much time are you wasting reading news feeds? You know, none of this is working towards your success. They're just time wasters. You know, it's important to know, like if you're working toward wealth and you're building businesses, what the economy is doing and that kind of thing. But everything you do should be investing in yourself. And I'm not saying not to socialize or not to spend time with friends, but there again, don't let your social time waste your time. Don't let friends waste your time. I um, more recently was invited to a birthday party and I didn't have time to do it. Trust me, I was really busy. It was over the weekend. I do work weekends. And so I, I scheduled time um, out of my day to go to this birthday party. It was in North Scottsdale. So it was a 30 mile drive from where I live. And this person told me the party's at four, it's a pool party, we'll be there. And because I had to work that day, I was seeing patients. I showed up at 5.30 plenty of time for them to show up, right? Well, I show up, I'm, I'm texting this individual all the way up to Scottsdale. I don't get any kind of return text. I show up, I say, okay, how do I get into the community? Uh, is there a gate code? Luckily, somebody was coming through the gate. Then I got to the pool and I'm texting this person. I'm saying, hey, I'm at the pool, but I need you to let me into the pool because you know, there's a, you know, there's a gate for the pool too. Somebody let me into the pool. I walked all the way around the pool area. Nobody, nobody was there. And so I text her, I said, well, I don't see you. So I hope you had a good birthday and I'm heading home. And I got home 30 minutes later, six o'clock, 6 p.m. And I get a text from this person. Hey, where you at, we're here. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. You said the party started at four. It's now six o'clock. I spent an hour of my time driving up and back and you're telling me that you're just showing up for your own birthday party at 6 p.m. when you told me it was at four, okay? These are time wasters. What I learned is that this individual is never gonna be somebody that I give my time to again, okay? So this is an example. Don't let people waste your time. You know, my time is valuable. How much time did I spend wasting on this individual or this situation when I could have been investing in you know, my business. I could have been investing in other work that I have to do. There's a lot of work I do that requires my time outside of seeing patients and, and whatnot. So, you know, don't let people, don't let circumstances waste your time. Put a high value, a high ticket price on your time. My time is worth $1,000 an hour. So if somebody wants to take up my time, it better be a good investment. Anyway, just a little tidbit that as you start working toward your goals, you will realize that you don't have time if you're going to be successful to waste on time wasters, people, circumstances, social media, news feeds, just give it all up, you know? It doesn't mean that, like I said, that you can't socialize or you can't spend time with friends, but those friends need to be valuable friends. You know, don't spend time with people who are going nowhere in life. Don't spend time with people that are you know, trying to drag you down or don't understand your process. Hang out with people that are at least as good as you or better. And I emphasize better because all my life I've spent my time surrounding myself with people that are better than me because I'm always working to achieve that next level. So hey guys, that's a little tidbit for tonight. I'm gonna sign out. I'm Victoria Munoz. Hey, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Like this video, hit that notification bell so that you get all the notifications for more cool videos to come. Also, subscribe to the newsletter. The newsletter is completely free. You get health tips, success tips, the video, and the detailed workout. Until next time, take care.